All right, a lot of news tonight. We still have a lot to get to. Joining us now with Reaction, the author of the number one New York Times bestseller, The Russia Hoax, and the illicit scheme to clear Hillary Clinton and frame Donald Trump, Fox News legal analyst Greg Jarrett, and the author of Why We Fight, Fox News national security strategist, Dr. Sebastian Gorka. Dr. Gorka, let me start with you. Let's start with the big latest lie of the media. They all went with it. They never did their research, and they all basically, like sheep, follow each other. It's remarkable, Sean. It shows you how they have nothing. Let's be very clear. Hopefully, they're taking notes. There is no crime to meet with a foreign national to obtain opposition research, especially when it turns out that that individual took that meeting under false pretenses. However, it is a crime, it is a crime to engage somebody at the cost of millions of dollars who is not a foreign registered agent, but at the same time is a former intelligence officer, that's Christopher Steele, and to use his Russian propaganda material as the grounds for a surveillance warrant in a FISA court. Greg can give you all the chapters, all the code, but that is a crime. For the last 430 days, we have had zero evidence, Sean, connecting the president to Russia. And I'm going to say now on the record, they will never okay. find any because there isn't any. Well, they haven't. And the fact is, I played the tape of Shiftless Schiff. It's very hard to say on TV. It's a very risky move. Um, but in all seriousness, Greg, okay, he's talking to a Russian, he's getting op research <laughs> that he hopes will kill off the president politically, and then we got Hillary's phony dossier. The media ignores it all, Greg. This is beyond corrupt, and right. they'll destroy the president and his family in the process with no compunction whatsoever. There's no fairness and equivalency. I was amazed today when the New York Times in their front page story declared without any evidence, without citing any statute, that it was illegal, that Trump Tower meeting. Well, I'll cite the law. The Federal Campaign Election Act specifically says a foreign national may volunteer services, attend meetings, and provide information. It is not and never has been considered a thing of value under our election laws. What is a thing of value is paying a foreigner, as Hillary Clinton did, for information on Donald Trump. By the that way, didn't, payment, he, didn't we learn the FBI also paid him, which we suspected, now we know? That's right. And the payment by Hillary establishes it as a thing of value, making it illegal. And yes, as we learned last Friday, Judicial Watch, through a lawsuit, obtained documents uh, from payments. the Department of Justice and the FBI, which shows that Christopher Steele was not only on the payroll of Hillary Clinton, but for seven months before the Trump-Russia case was officially launched, he was right. on the FBI's payroll receiving 11 payments. Last word, Dr. Gorka. And Sean, uh, you mentioned one thing that needs to be uh, repeated. Veselnitskaya, this private lawyer, was briefed by Fusion GPS before and after the meeting in Trump Tower. So mm -hmm. this could have been a setup from the get-go. All right. Thank you both.